If you're in Taipei and you want to go on a nice hike, I recommend going to Shengshen Park and just following the pathway and head up Elephant Mountain. The hike is a little intense, but the view is totally worth it. I know enough Chinese. That's this at Elf. It's this Elephant Mountain. And there's a cat in the middle of the trail. By the way, make sure you guys have water if you're gonna do this, because this will kill you. That's a beautiful view. Wow. Taipei, everybody. We've done a lot of hikes, but the humidity of Taiwan makes this a particularly difficult one. Woo. Going for the birds there, buddy? I'm actually almost at the top. Can you believe it? Oh, there's a skink. It's not a lizard. It's not a skink. It's a skink. You wouldn't believe how hard it was to climb 180 meters, 84 meters in the air. But the view, well, they say the view is worth it. Pretty tough. The last jungle I was in was Vietnam. And this is a much more intense uh, hike than I thought it was going to be. It doesn't look like it, but the way down is uh, kind of frightening. So, uh, there we go. A few stations away, you'll find the National Concert Hall. It looks pretty impressive, but if you go through it, you'll be in a courtyard that is phenomenal. This is the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial, and that big building is the memorial for Chiang Kai-shek. He was a former leader of China, and he is revered in Taiwan. There's a lot of history there that I won't get into, but it, the museum that is underneath his giant memorial is pretty cool. Looks like they're throwing up this pond, but that uh, frog over there seems very proud of what he's doing. I love this mural with a knockoff Charmander and a knockoff Pikachu. It doesn't have a face, but you know what it is. I was told that if I want the best Taiwanese noodles, you gotta go to Young Kang Noodles. And I waited about 20 minutes and I got my noodles. I just wish I didn't have to line up. After filling up, I headed over to Tom Sui, which means beautiful water in Chinese, to check out the river district, and it was pretty nice. Uh, I didn't know that there was a Spanish fort there, so that was my main goal. I did get distracted by a church that had a concert going on and I was invited in to listen to the concert of traditional Taiwanese music. I actually spent too much time listening to the music and was about five minutes before they closed the Spanish fort, so I missed it. However, I got to walk around a little bit and I decided to head back to the hotel. On the way back, I saw the Grand Hotel Taipei, which is an amazing looking hotel, but it has a secret slide that was made for uh, Chang Hai Chek in case there was any emergencies. It also was featured in one of the funniest YouTube videos I've ever seen in my entire life. So, if you're familiar with this slide and this woman that goes down it and makes the weirdest sound humanly possible, it's inside of this building. Okay. 
the sights, sounds, and smells of Taiwan were amazing. And I'm very happy I had the opportunity to go see and experience Taiwan. I hope to go back one day. But the plane's calling me, so I got to get going. It's a wonderful day. Stay groovy.